look, masticates.com. And I wanted to go over how I do some measurements when I need measurements from you on your mast. One simple way is to take a measuring tape and just taping it vertically right next to the cut and then taping it horizontally. And from this, I can get the length and width. And when you have a round type of cut, it's important to note where the inside channel diameter is larger than the slot. When the feed slot width is smaller than the inside channel, it's very easy to make a gate that'll snap in. When the outside width is the same as the inside, then you need to cut a groove inside. I don't know if you can see it. Inside to where I make a gate that has side barb that will go in and snap into it. Now, on other types, I need you to use either a machinist ruler, take a picture with it side view, a front on view, so I can get the track gap and the spacing, and putting it straight down so I can get the track depth and putting it in sideways where it intersects the apex and to looking straight onto the edge of the surface so I can get what's called the track depth. So it's important to have, this is another type that has a rounded channel. If your mast is down, it's nice and easy to be able to put your photo across like this. A photo like this, a photo to the side, photo across, photo up like this. Now sometimes I may need to know the radius around your mast and you can use a solder wire to bend across and then just lay the solder wire on a grid paper taking a photograph straight down on the grid paper and then I can take the measurements from the grid paper to duplicate your radius using a caliper to get your track depth it's just putting it in coming straight down taking the track wall measurement putting it into the side to the apex and sliding to the touches that gives me my track wall and the depth of the cut just come down like that and measure what the depth of the cut is. Now when you get your your gate we need to make sure that when you put it in to test it for movement. Does it slide too easy? Does it jiggle? See if the track is on the line and then try your sail slug and pull on your sail slug to test it and then we can make minor adjustments for your mast on this type this snaps in and then check it for sliding push on it to see if there's any spacing underneath that needs to be compensated for how flush it is this type you use tweezers to just squeeze and lift out here's another type of working on a prototype you may get a short piece like this to install and I need you to photograph slide to where it just stops and I need a photograph from the side using a ruler and 
both sides and dead on and this will give me an idea of what compensations I need to do to help make this better match your cutout. Then slide the other direction to where it just stops and same thing. Photograph dead on side other side and then I can make adjustments. Thank you for viewing. I hope this answers some of the questions on what I need for measurements and when you get your piece for testing to help me. And also if you have a small piece, make a pencil mark where the end is and then slide the other side, make a pencil mark and let me know how much of a gap there is or if it's larger, how much of the overlap is. And this helps me get an accurate length of the piece. Thank you again, Tom Luke, Masticates.com.